So what I'm going to do now is show you how to um, calibrate an adjustable pressure switch. Now this particular pressure switch comes with different springs. These different springs are for different ranges of tension of basically you're looking at different uh, pressure ranges, if you will. So um, the one I've chosen is the natural spring. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here and then I'm going to put the adjustment um, screw on and I'm going to screw that in just a little ways. Now when you get used to doing this you'll know how far to put it in depending on uh, what setting you want to set that at. And you'll note that I, I already went ahead and connected my tubing uh, to the top of the pressure switch P1 and pump and also went ahead and connected my uh, leads. So on this one I'm going to uh, connect to the common so I'll go here and also to the uh, normally open which is this terminal you don't want to test it on normally closed okay now one thing about testing pressure switches with dual ports it only has one diaphragm one spring in here as you just now saw so test the negative side that's this one right here that's all you need to do so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and turn the pump on, press test, we can see it goes through a countdown, actually a warm up period, and we see that the, the switch is actually closed, and that's okay, we don't care. At this point what we're going to do is uh, we are going to hook up the switch and then we are going to adjust the pressure to whatever setting we wanted it to be at. So let's just go ahead and take it down to like say a 0 0.50. So let's take this pressure down to 0 0.50. And when we get start getting close, we want to slow down. You can hold it down, but when we start getting close, just slow down. and then you can take it in increments. And if you overshoot it, that's okay. You can take it back up, no problem. Now, it's important to note that when you're testing these pressure switches, I'll take this one up just a teeny bit, and, and we're at 0.50. If you hold it at an angle, you're going to change. You see how that changed? If you hold it straight up, then you're gonna get the accurate, because that's how it mounts in uh, the furnace. So at this point, we can see the light is off, meaning the uh, switch is open. All right, so now that I've went ahead and set my pressure uh, to 0 0.50, I'm going to screw the adjustment screw in. Now when I do make the adjustments to the adjustment screw, you're gonna see the pressures fluctuate a little bit. That's because I'm pushing the diaphragm back and forth when I'm screwing this in, compressing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, screw the adjustment screw in at this point until the red LED comes on. And you see the red LED did come on. And what I'm gonna do is back it down now until the red LED goes off. Now, if you had already started with a red LED uh, because it was already closed when you were doing your pressure, setting your pressure, then all you need to do is back it down until the red LED you know, goes off. And it went off. So we do have a 0.50 inches of water column pressure switch.